Okay, we're going to summarize the room by room. We I, I went ahead and filled in all the criteria. There is a lot of math that you must do. You must be able to know how to do square footage. You must know how to be able to do linear feet, things such as that. It's not that hard. It's simple math, but don't let it scare you. But I went ahead and filled in what we have. Now, we put a, uh, our rooms across the top. We had a total of six rooms. Now, each room will have its own heating and cooling load shown. We put all of our occupants in the living room. You can divide them up wherever you need be. We also uh, put split up our uh, appliance load between the kitchen and the utility room. This is, if you will, the J1 manual that shows that, I mean not manual, but spreadsheet that shows all that information. But let's go to the summary. That's what it's all about because this is what we will use to determine our <coughs> duct system. Now, there's a little bit of confusion in the world that tells or says that you should use the cooling CFM for your duct design. That is false. You need to use the largest CFM, whether it be heating or cooling, for your duct design. We're not talking about equipment design, we're talking about room by room duct work, okay? If you'll notice, this is an example. We only have 147 CFM required for the cooling, but yet we have 155 required for the heating for this particular bedroom. So you can see according to the ACA that they tell you to use the 155. Okay, this, the beauty of this is it breaks it down room by room, shows you what's going on in the room by room. We also have a breakdown, once again, of the total percentage of loads of heat gains and heat losses. This is a good place to go and look it over. Sometimes you can look at these things and, and realize that you may have a mistake. This is a good place to see that. You notice the total sensible load, once again, this is going to be slightly different than the, the uh, overall uh, system that you showed for the uh, what am I trying to say, the uh, equipment load, so don't get confused on that. Uh, we, we may actually have a blower heat gain here, and this one does show a blower heat gain. If you recall, our other one didn't give us any credit for that. This one does. So there's going to be a little bit of difference. Don't worry about it. It's still going to work out. I don't want to tell you that it's not an exact science. That's, that's an argument. But I will tell you that when you're doing load calculations, it is an art. And art and science do go hand in hand, but they're not exact. Okay? If you mess something by a few square feet here and there, it's not the end of the world. We know that we, the way that we uh, size our units is on nominal. Nominal, what's that mean? It's a number. Okay? It's not exact. I'm not telling you to be sloppy in your calculations. You want to be as accurate as you possibly can. But if you make a little error here or there, this is a good place to pick up on it. Okay, that's going to conclude our room by room. I think you, you can move through this pretty good now. Keep in mind, we have used the Abridge Edition. This is not the J1 Edition. This is the J1 Abridged Edition. This will work in many, many cases. But don't think this will work for everything. There's always something where they're along if you go to a house that has two or three stories and I know you say a three-story house yeah they're out there you're not going to be able to use this particular edition just keep that in mind we thank you very much for bearing with us through this I know it's a lot of information but I hope it helps thank you very